Hi, this is Kazi and this is going to be an overview of my 10 part tutorial series in FumeFX. It's for the new users that just want to get up to speed and get to know how to use this plugin. So to start off with, we're going to take a look at the very basics and how to set up your first simulation and do your first render and also take a look at a little bit about the FumeFX UI and a few parameters you want to know about from the start. Then we're going to go over the different emitters or sources like particle source, object source and simple source. Then we're going to go into project, a wall destruction scene and emit smoke dust from uh, wall pieces that have ex been exploded with ray fire. After that we're going to talk about how to achieve a different smoke colors in one simulation using uh, a color channel in the Fumifex cache. After that we're going to take a look at the different external shaping tools for Fumifex like wind, gravity and different objects. Uh, that you want to use to get a really good control of how your flu fluid are looking. Then we're going to take a look at how to emit smoke and fire from a texture map or a noise map or any map you really want. Then to finish off we're going to take a look at two projects. One with a big pyroclastic smoke uh, simulation, big cloud, big smoke, building along the ground. And for the last video we're going to take a look at how to make a turbulent, really detailed fire simulation. So the stuff that are included is 10 videos or one and a half hour worth of content and about five fire shaders and some scene files. And you're also going to get me to add you on Skype so I can help you out really quick. And you can ask me Fumifix questions and how to do certain stuff and I'll try to answer them as fast as possible because Skype is pretty fast and I think it's a good way to help out. All the details to get your hands on this tutorial series are in the description so read carefully and thanks for watching and bye.